Hi everyone, welcome back. So you might notice the change in scenery here. I am actually on a cruise. We are on our honeymoon. We are on the Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas. This is a seven night cruise um, to the Caribbean islands. And um, I'm just, you know, here all alone. Kumar is at the gym right now. Um, I was just getting ready and stuff. So he was like, I'm gonna hit the gym and you do whatever you want. So I'm actually getting ready for dinner. It's just gonna be very casual. So I thought, why not take this opportunity to shoot a video because I haven't done that in a while. And the big news this year is we got married, yay! So we only have like 10 minutes before I have to head out of the door. I have a few of my trusty products like my Milani Concealer Perfect, my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, you know, but I also have a new player in the game today. I have this Hourglass, um, what was it called, Ghost Palette. Um, this was their Christmas edition palette, so that's what this looks like. So yeah, let's start getting ready. I already have my vitamin C serum, the elephant, not elephant, drunk elephant uh, C from my day serum. And after that, I applied my moisturizer and today I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is amazing. It just instantly boosts so much moisture in your skin. It keeps it really, really hydrated and plump. So we're going to start with some primer. So here I'm using my Benefit Professional. Just gonna take a little bit. I'm just pressing that in my skin. And what was left on my nose, between my brows, forehead, chin. This light, by the way, the room, it's really great. It's not exactly a circle light. It's like a ring light, but it's not circle, it's square. And it looks fabulous. Might be giving off a yellow tint, but I don't know, my phone looks good. So that's what I'm gonna roll with. All right, the next thing is my foundation so i have a few brushes here i did do my makeup yesterday i'm not doing a whole lot of makeup on this trip and just keeping it natural with my tinted sunscreen and things like that but yeah this trip is going really great we've never been on a cruise before so that i'm just going to use my real techniques uh face expert face brush and my milani concealer perfect foundation while i keep chatting with you I'm just gonna dot this on my face uh we haven't really stopped at any ports yet we do have a stop in saint martin phillipsburg saint martin tomorrow we're very excited we have um an island tour booked it's a four hour um tour and we're really excited we have about i guess eight ish hours on the island so once we're done with the tour, we're just gonna hang out in like their downtown area and then maybe come back early on the ship because this is our first time and we are a little nervous of missing the cruise. So yeah, um, this is our third day here on the cruise. We actually left on Friday. Today is Tuesday. So we actually left on Friday. We flew down to Orlando. Just, we reached really, really late on Friday. It was almost Saturday and we had an Airbnb booked so we just like you know spent the night took some rest and got ready the next day so whether this is elf uh, camo concealer I'm just using the littlest bit and I'm using the same real techniques brush to buff it all in I got a huge pimple right before my wedding like the week of my wedding and I never get pimples and it actually left a mark right here so i'm just going to dot some of the same concealer and like blend it all out we drove to coco beach um and port canaveral is just like three miles from coco beach where our cruise left from so okay while i do that i'm going to use my hourglass palette i'm going to use this finishing powder right here and set my concealer so yeah, Port Canaveral is just a few miles away from Cocoa Beach and we just, um, we booked a hotel which was like literally on the beach, like they had a walkway you could take and it would take you directly to the beach and the beach was so clean and beautiful and there was this bar like right at the end of, there was a pier like right on the beach and then there was a bar right there where you could just take a drink or have some snacks and just look at like cruises going by there were like four cruises that day uh two from carnival one from disney and one from norwegian so we saw 
all four of them go by. I waved goodbye to all of them, <laughs> thinking that tomorrow it's gonna be me on this cruise. Once that was done um, for dinner, um, obviously there was an Indian restaurant, so Kumar definitely wanted to have Indian. So he got, I think he got some goat biryani, and I got chicken lollipop. The chicken lollipop was bad. It was not chicken lollipop, basically. So next I'm gonna use this bronzer shade from the same palette. So by the way, I got this one palette, which works as a finishing powder, a highlight, a bronzer, and a blush, all in one. So, and it has a few shade options as well. So that's great. And it has a big, huge mirror. I just tried to dial down as much as I could. So that's why I have like very, very selected brushes. And I got one eyeshadow palette, my Modern Renaissance palette, because I think the colors in that palette work really well with any look I want to do. So, okay, I'm gonna take my contouring brush and just bronze up a little bit of my face. Woke up really, really excited the next day. And we usually take hotels where you get free breakfast included in the fair. So that's always convenient, you know, you don't have to get up and then drive someplace and then f before that find a place that you like. So we usually just book a hotel that gives you free breakfast. By the way, today the ship is moving like crazy. I'm literally swaying side to side. The wind and the waves are crazy today, so much so that they had to cancel again an outdoor show that they usually have. It's very, very windy and very choppy so definitely not safe for the crew members to be performing i wouldn't want them to risk their lives just for the sake of our entertainment you know makes sense so yeah um we had our breakfast that day and i was so excited so you you have to like choose a time a boarding time you like have to choose a boarding time um to get on the cruise and the earliest that was available to us was 12 30 p.m but of course, in the name of research, I have watched so many cruise videos that everyone said, get to the port early, get to the port as early as you can. And that was the reason why we stayed in Cocoa Beach, you know, because it was so close by to the terminal. Next, I'm using the blush from the same palette. I like this blush, actually. It has some deeper tones as well. And when it mixes with the lighter shade next to it, it's really nice. Like it gives you a natural flush and you can go as deep as you want but it'll still keep looking very, very natural. So I really like that. Even the highlight, I'll show you when I apply it. And it gives a great finish. It is actually, like I've heard about our glass um, powders that they're really nice and they look very natural, like one with your skin. And that's of course what I'm going for every time I do my makeup. So yeah, we got to the, we got to the cruise port at like 10.30 or before that. And right when you get off the cab, there's some guy, there's a porter that takes your luggage off and then you can go. It's very, very quick. Like it was so quick that we were literally on the ship before 11. 10.30, we got off the cab, got in our security check-in, everything was done. They gave us a, like a group number when you can board. So it's like tier wise, like pinnacle, platinum, whatever the tier wise, the suites. And uh, so this was our first time cruising ever. So we had no like tier status. So our group was definitely the last, but still <laughs> we boarded before 11. Like we were on the ship before 11. So that's how amazing um, the boarding process was. Next I'm gonna use this powder. I think it's called, what is it called? Strobe powder, iridescent strobe light. So I'm gonna use this as a highlight. Just barely there kind of highlight like I like like glowy juicy cheeks you know your cheeks look really full and plump it's such a nice highlight I really like that we were so excited right right when we got on the ship we got on on deck five and um, everyone like in the videos kept saying like don't stay on that floor alone like go go and explore the ship I have all this in my blog by the way if you want to know how my trip is going um, I'm filming this on day three, so I'll definitely have a blog posted before tomorrow night or before tomorrow morning because we are leaving to explore St. Martin tomorrow. And I want to keep up with this blog, live blog thing. We went to Solarium, sat in one of their cabanas which overlooked the ocean, the helipad and everything. It's just gorgeous, amazing place. And soon it was time for sail away and it was so much fun. They had music, they had drinks. We wanted to 
go on a cruise for so long we've been planning to go on a cruise for so 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 long and finally we're like it's time for our honeymoon and we don't know what to do okay next i'm going to use my elf brow pencil and I, i'll have to look in the mirror behind my phone bear with me while i do this so yeah yeah we wanted to go on a cruise for so long i might have to use this our glass mirror and we were like okay it's time for our honeymoon what do you want to do we had so many options and we were like you know what let's just take a cruise it's the it's the right combination of exploring a new place and like the expenses basically are combined you know you're traveling and you're staying is all combined and food you know it's all combined in one you don't have to worry about anything like figuring out what restaurant to eat when what shows you want to watch there are broadway shows like you you'd pay like easily $50 for one person for if you want to watch a broadway show like in new york or anywhere you know so that's all included in the price of your cruise like how amazing is that right so it just takes away all the pain of planning things you just like book a cruise and they've got they've been doing everything for you basically like food entertainment and um activities like they plan everything all you have to worry about is booking the right cruise for you yeah we've been having so much fun we've been we've had two sea days to now um the first day was just really hectic you know just running around and like we had show reservations the same day we had dinner before that and everyone was rushing to the same place because everyone was hungry the first day you know so first day was like hectic but the second day was pretty chilled out like we just basically lounged around for most of it and just did things whenever we felt like we didn't really rush to do anything we didn't we weren't like oh you know we we are missing this we want to go and do that no we just did whatever we felt like i was look fine yeah so i'm going to keep it very simple today i did do a good makeup look last night for our formal night so today i think i'm going to keep it pretty simple you know one or two shades i guess so the first thing i'm going to start with i'm not using my eyeshadow primer just don't feel like using a primer for a couple of hours of eyeshadow i'm going to start with this shade real gar it's like a orangey browny color for my crease today was almost the same as well we just woke up a little early because kumar wanted to have breakfast in the main dining room because they were serving eggs benedict which is his favorite breakfast ever i had some french toast scrambled eggs bacon my usual okay this brush actually has some black from last night not black but like dark brown which i can see on this eye It's, it's dark brown so I'm just gonna mix a little bit of dark brown as well just even things out a little bit whoa I don't know if you can make out but I am actually swaying from side to side okay right left the ship is just swaying so much oh okay next I'm just gonna like I said I'm gonna keep it very very simple I'm gonna use this shade Prima Vera Primavera, which is like a goldeny shade. I'm just gonna take this all over my lid, and just add some brightness and shine. Like I'm gonna take it almost two thirds of the way out, and then just gonna blend it with the shade I applied earlier, just to give it a little brightness, right? And by the way, apart from sleeping, this is the longest time I've been in this room. We're just always out and about and exploring things and looking for things to do. There's so many activities. Every day we get a planner like this. It's called a cruise compass, and this was for today. So they'll have all the activities and weather, dress code, if any, is all listed on here. So you can plan your day. They have everything from food, like to what areas are open, to like bingo activities, um, movies playing, snacks. venues services like you have everything in here so if you're ever like planning a cruise and you're wondering like i don't know if there's going to be anything to do trust me there's plenty to do on the cruise 
you're not gonna get bored okay and the last thing I'm actually gonna do is put on some brow bone highlight I'm gonna use this shade Tem tempera like a creamy shade just highlight my brow bone to just like define the arch a little bit just gives it a nice natural lift so like the first day i wasn't seasick but i felt like a little bit of movement you know how you go to a water park and then you come back and you still feel like you're in a water park it's a feeling like that next i'm gonna take my morphe liquid liner just kept a small wing nothing dramatic Eyeliner is done. The second to last thing is mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. It's time for Kumar to be back. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. Shooting this on my phone. Can't really check the time. I can use the TV, but I don't want to switch on the TV. I don't want to get up and switch on the TV. <laughs> it's basically what I mean. Keeping it very simple and natural, so that's why I'm not doing anything eyeshadow wise on my lower lash line today was also like very low-key but we did do a few things you know today um like i said we went for breakfast in the main dining room for eggs benedict for mr kumar and then we went to the captain's welcome party where we had free drinks so why not we wanted to actually go to the helipad we wandered down to deck two but there was a crew member who said we can't get to the helipad and we wanted to go to the pool so we came up to the room got changed and by the time we went up there was this competition called sexiest world sexiest man competition there were like eight um people who participated eight guys showed off their skills and stuff really handsome men and we just caught some beautiful sunset on the ocean like sunsets in general are amazing but sunsets on ocean are on another level and the last thing is lipstick and then we're done i'm gonna use my elf lipstick in berry sorbet we don't have any specific plans today we had um dinner reservations in the main dining room like every night but i checked out the menu and i wasn't too excited about it so i think we're gonna skip main dining today and just eat in one of the other restaurants that we have I can't, if i can stop talking so what i was saying is we're gonna skip main dining room tonight and just go to one of the um, other cafes and restaurants on board and see what's up i'm looking for my setting spray which i cannot seem to find on my desk here it should be here oh so it was right here okay so i'm using my urban decay on lighter setting spray four spritz of this and your makeup is locked on your face forever like trust me a little because i've used this for my engagement and my makeup did not move all night so i might add up some gloss let me check my handbag here behind me oh by the way these decorations kumar's birthday was on january 7th and he really wanted to go on a cruise on jan 7th but we could not. I didn't really like the itinerary for the cruise that was on Jan 7th. And that's why we ended up choosing this one. So he was a little disappointed. So I'm going to do something nice for him. And there's an option of sending gifts to your stateroom. So I asked Royal Caribbean to, you know, send in some like birthday stuff for Kumar. They had this birthday package wherein you could um, have your room decorated for someone's birthday. So we got a few things. We got this birthday photo frame um some of these wall hanging things a couple of these are here out of the way there are some like rope strings where you can clip on your pictures and uh, on our stateroom door they have a sticker saying surprise and happy birthday and things like that i think that's i think that's really sweet and cute and if anyone your friends or anyone's going on a trip and you want to do something nice for them like if they're going on an anniversary a honeymoon birthday 
whatever so yeah guys this is my finished look for today a really quick and easy and simple uh, looking look uh, and I really wanted to shoot this because I'm on a cruise and I want to keep it special uh, so yeah I'm just gonna put on my dress which is a really simple like evening dress and we're gonna head to dinner so yeah guys thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful day and I shall see you in my next one bye